Chris Crone here, Limitless TV, with a treat for you. I've got our producer of the channel, Nate Woodbury. We're gonna be interviewing him today on becoming a YouTuber. Glad to be here. Totally excited today for our video because I've got Nate Woodbury that has launched the entire Limitless TV channel from its inception to what it is today. We're celebrating over a million views and uh, we continue growing. Nate is super knowledgeable here on this whole idea of, of how to be a YouTuber, which really comes down to one word, influence. And uh, it's something, Nate, that you do very well. And there's a whole science behind this idea. There's a lot of people, in fact, I was just talking to a couple of my buddies who are like, yeah, we're gonna do this YouTube channel, we're gonna do videos on this and that. And I just, I got really honest and frank and I said, listen, if you guys wanna goof around and shoot some videos, you know, maybe, you know, get something funny and viral out there, you might get a little bit of activity, but there really is a science to how you um, do YouTube successfully to, to express whatever your gift of influence is for the world. Nate. Just want to start here. Is it is it an art or is it a science? Which is it? Uh, definitely a mixture of both. Um, the more art that's in there, the more entertainment that there is and the more people will enjoy the videos. But uh, the way that we started this channel was, was through the science side of it first. We, we started with the keyword research and finding out what questions are people asking. You know, and it was in the beginning it was 100% real estate and now it's also mindset and belief breakthrough. But what questions are, are people asking on those things? Now this is really important because there's a lot of people that come to the channel that they don't know me, they've never heard of me before, but they're finding me organically because of that research. Can you talk for a moment just a little bit about what are you doing behind the scenes to help organically find individuals that want to learn about whatever your content is on your channel? Mm -hmm. So Chris said something really key in his question in that people are, are finding these videos that have never heard of Chris before. So think how powerful of a tool that is. Chris has a large following here locally. Lots of people, hundreds of people, even thousands of people at a time come to your events. But when we put a video on YouTube, we've got the whole world as an audience. And by doing the, the keyword research, searching on, on Google Keyword Planner tool, finding out what questions or people are asking, Chris might tell me, hey, why don't we do a video on, on topic ABC? Well, I'll do some research first and find, okay, what questions are people asking about that topic? And then I'll send that back to Chris saying, okay, here's what the title of the video will be. And then what that does is it makes it so that people who have never heard of Chris before that are asking that question now find the video and they see you, they see Chris as the hero. Yeah, and I, and I wanna jump a little bit more on this because I do wanna talk about the art, I wanna talk about what is the content, what is your persona, how do you authentically share your gift, but I wanna go one step deeper. Yes, you're doing that keyword search to make sure we're producing, not videos that we care about, videos that you care about. Here's the second question, amped. What is an amped video versus a viral video? Because I know that is a huge part of your, your whole strategy mm -hmm that has created a successful channel here and you're doing it with other people. Yeah, AMPT is my acronym, Automatic, Magnetic, and Perpetual. Automatic means that it's a video that's automatically gonna market itself. So all this effort that you put in research in the beginning, in, in pre preparing and, and planning this video, it's making it so you don't really have to do a lot of advertising work. The video will automatically market itself the magnetic part means that it's pulling in people who are searching for your content, that need your content. And so from a business perspective, if you have something to offer, you have some value to give, yeah, you can put up a billboard and, and blast that in front of everyone, or you can just magnetically attract the people who want that. And then perpetual, you've noticed that the videos that, that you know, once they start to get traction, they, they just get, get bigger with time. Steeper and steeper, and yeah. so the videos, some of our best performing videos are the ones that we put out three years ago. Yeah. They're just perpetually getting better and better. You know, it's interesting. Um, I was watching one of these viral videos and it was a funny video of a guy in a gorilla suit sneaking up on people. And certainly it gets a lot of laughs, so it's going to get a lot of views. And then next he's out there with a Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, you know, outfit just tackling people in the public and scaring the pants off of people. And then he's taking snakes, live snakes, and putting them around people's necks and freaking them out. And yeah, it's viral. It's got millions of views. And what is the message? What is it driving to? What good is it really doing? You know, the, the majority of viral videos aren't necessarily building something productive, but your amped style here, what's interesting is every one of these videos that we create, Nate calls a machine. And the more machines that we put out there with time, 
if they're organically searched and, and researched correctly, they'll just continue growing. And one of the things that I found interesting, Nate, is you sat down with me when you first came to me and said, Chris, you're gonna see a 500% growth on your channel every year. In our first year, I'd never done anything on YouTube. Uh, well, I had had videos on YouTube for years, but I didn't have a, a following or, or any strategy. In our first year, we had 50,000 views. The next year, we had a 500% increase to 250,000 views. And right now, we're on track for, for hitting one and a quarter million views. In other words, I've seen that 500% growth, and certainly a lot of people are, are messaging and asking me questions and engaging in business with me now from this YouTube channel. And so it's, you know, you've got a really great strategy and philosophy. If someone wanted to be a very successful YouTuber, what do you think they would have to do? How many videos would they have to put out? And what kind of help do you think they'll need? A couple of thoughts on that. Um, one is just to, to think long term and think of large numbers and, and really visualize if I were to go, if I were to put out a daily video for a year, what type of content would I want to cover? What would my style be? What type of following do I want to build? And just having that vision, having that plan makes it a lot more realistic. Um, also efficiency is really important. Because we post five to six videos every single week, Chris has got a busy schedule, I've got a busy schedule. How do we do that? We're filming 22 videos today. We've, we've and our record's been 27 videos in one day. We'll film all at one time, and then it's obviously a lot of work of editing. We release them on a schedule daily on YouTube, but it allows us to get a lot done and, and still be really efficient with our time. Well, am I gonna be honest? I would not have a YouTube channel if I didn't have a Nate Woodbury, so you need to find someone. If you wanna do this successfully, you might need someone like a Nate because uh, I just gotta show up and, and, and I gotta shoot the video and know my content, but when it comes to the editing and the videography and when it comes to the keyword research and the posting and managing comments and doing all those things, you know, that's Nate. Nate, you, Nate takes care of all of that for me, so it makes things very doable in my world and it certainly aligns with my philosophy that if you want something done right, don't do it yourself. And so you do that brilliantly. Um, kind of final question I have for you, Nate, is talk to me a little bit about the fun side of who should consider being a YouTuber and who should not be, should not go down that path? What's, what is an ideal person, you know, what should they be looking for and what should they be prepared with if they're gonna do a successful video, 280 videos in a calendar year? I think the best answer to that question is if you have a why, you have a real driving or burning purpose or passion that, a message that you wanna share with the world, YouTube is such an amazing platform. Yeah. It allows us to, to package up our value and deliver it to the entire planet through the internet. And so if you have a purpose, if you have this message that, that you need to share, um, that is the biggest driving factor of, of why you should create a YouTube channel. Well, and, and for me, that's something that's important. I feel like God has gifted me a lot of this amazing information, knowledge, life experiences that I've had. And at the end of the day, YouTube is a really wonderful platform to share that message. And uh, you know, there's some people that don't always appreciate the words that I have to say. The comments certainly say as much. But there's a lot of people who've been able to use this information to better their lives. People I'll never meet. And uh, you know, I think that fulfills something for me is that uh, some people are gonna use it as an opportunity to engage with me personally in business. Uh, they may you know, purchase certain services or products from me, which is wonderful. But I think the vast majority they just get a chance to learn these tidbits video after video, and they get to use it to improve their life. And so for me, there's a really big feel-good factor of knowing that, hey, there's a great deal of influence that can do a great deal of, of good in this world, and YouTube's a really great, great strategy for that. Nate, do you have any final thoughts you wanna share with us today on becoming a YouTuber? I would also share one simple tip, but it's, it's powerful and I want you to pay attention. Start filming with your iPhone. Don't think that you need the fancy equipment that Chris and I are now using because the camera that's on your phone right now is HD, it's great quality. Just face a window so that you got good lighting on you and then uh, practice with the audio so that it can sound good. But you can get high quality video with your iPhone. Getting started is much better than, than waiting till it's perfect. Nate, such valuable information and it's amazing because I, I look at our time together over the last couple of years and what we've been able to create together. I think there's gotta be other people out there like me with a message that want to share it. What advice would you give for them or is there a way that they can get in touch with you so that they can go down the road of also becoming a YouTuber and sharing their message with the world? Absolutely, so two things I'll recommend 
recommend. One is I have my channel, Hero TV. So search for Hero TV or Be The Hero. And I, I put a lot of videos there teaching things like this. And the second thing is I'll leave a link in the description about how you can actually get in contact with me. Awesome. Well, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for being here today. And again, join us tomorrow and the next day and the day after. And Limitless TV is going to give you valuable life-changing information on how to create wealth in real estate and how to cultivate the perfect mindset and heart set for producing the life of your dreams.